Huh, I'm so bored. I already did the Chuck E. Cheese iceberg video. But now, what is my next idea? <sighs> Wait, why are we in my old apartment? <gasps> We're going back to the past. Back to Blockbuster. We're in a block. <laughs> well, I'm going to be the first person to ever do the blockbuster iceberg. That's right. Put the intro. The first ever blockbuster iceberg. Why did I say I'm the first person to do the blockbuster iceberg? Because I am. Now, let's go, Brian. Okay. During this video, uh, Brian didn't want to do it, so I'm just going to do it anyway. Blockbuster versus Netflix. So basically, Blockbuster and Netflix had the little feud because, well, Blockbuster turned down the Netflix deal. And Netflix started doing stuff before streaming. And the only thing that happened was Blockbuster also tried to do it, but it failed. Yeah, it wasn't such the best idea for Blockbuster. And that why they lost. And other reason, but I'll talk about it later. Blockbuster going out of business. So Blockbuster was in bankruptcy for reasons. One, there's a red box and Netflix is the thing around the time. And also, uh, not that much people want to pay 5 to $10 for uh, movies that they're only going to want for one night. And also, Blockbuster did some really dumb stuff. Uh, like uh, doing that uh, mail service to deliver DVDs. That was not the best idea. And also, they did some other stuff, but we're going to talk about it later in uh, the iceberg. But yeah, Blockbuster shutting down was sad, but it also was their downfall also because of all the stuff they did. But yeah, now time to move on. The last Blockbuster. So basically, the last Blockbuster is in Ben Oregon. And, well, it's still going. Yeah. Back then, there were a ton of Blockbuster until, you know, the bankruptcy and all that. There were three. Uh, one from Ben Oregon and the other two were from Alaska. But those went out of business. But uh, the final Blockbuster is in Ben Oregon. And it's still open. And the good thing about it is... It still will find a way to feel retro. Not new. Still have the old computers and everything. Dang. And uh, yeah. It's the only one standing. And it's still doing great. And I think I said a massacre made a video about that. But yeah. It's still going and I'm happy about it. So yeah. Blockbuster mascot. Okay, Blockbuster had the, these kids at those kids center for like their mascot. And they had the, these guys that have uh, so these VHS tape guys as mascot. And also they have a guinea pig and a bunny as a mascot. Yeah, they were really weird around the time. But I sort of like the VHS tape a lot more because a bunny and a guinea pig sort of won't work well just based on a video rental store. So yeah, Blockbuster opening. I couldn't find any photos of the opening except for magazines. But in uh, 1985, uh, October 19th, Blockbuster was open, and this is the only one I found of a old looking photo. And I'm just going to use that. No more late fees. So basically, Blockbuster made a campaign or something like that of no more late fees, right? In 2005. And there were no more late fees. That's right. 
And that the reason that the other reason why they went out of business. Because there are no more late fees. And also people could just take the disc and sometimes don't even return it. So yeah, that was a pretty stupid idea. But it was sort of good also, but it was a really dumb idea, Blockbuster. That so or the reason why they went out of business. But yeah, it wasn't the best idea that Blockbuster did. It worked, but some of their movies were missing by people that just didn't want to return it. So yeah, no more late fees to me is a really dumb idea. You see now. Blockbuster Party Game. So basically, Blockbuster Party Game is if you got movie knowledge, so you know how to play this game. It's basically about nostalgia and all that. And uh, yeah, they're really putting the merch on Blockbuster. Yeah, making nostalgia for the old people that used to grow up with Blockbuster. I used to win Blockbuster when I was like two, but yeah. Make nostalgia happen with the party game. Blockbuster logo. Whoa, Blockbuster have the many logo change. Here is all of them. But the newer logo looks a lot more sleeker. But I don't know why. I wasn't born in 1985, but it gave me this retro feeling. It gave me this great feeling to see the old logo. The new one is good, but not like the old one. And the 91 is okay. Blockbuster and Dish TV. Damn, this give me some nostalgia. I used to have Dish TV. So basically, Blockbuster and Dish teamed up. So basically, anytime you get Dish, you get Blockbuster. It's basically like a streaming service. But yeah, I remember this. And also, it didn't really work out well, and then they just removed it. But yeah, that's the story. Blockbuster had their chance to buy Netflix. So yeah, Blockbuster had a ton of chance to almost buy Netflix, so like twice. And uh, they just laugh at Netflix. If Netflix basically said, how about we could team up? But nah, they should laugh at them. Like really, that is the dumbest idea. They could have still been open. But yeah, that's the other reason why they went out of business. Yep, poor Blockbuster. Blockbuster selling video games. You see in the 90s, Blockbuster sold the video games. And ever since they did. And well, it actually worked really good for them. And so I have a tiny advantage from Netflix. Until Gamefly was a thing. But yeah, that was a pretty good idea, Blockbuster. It was a really good idea. Blockbuster was in Captain Marvel. Yeah, there's this one scene in Captain Marvel where Captain Marvel fall down, but it was in a blockbuster. And, uh, yeah, they put that there. Got no idea why they did it. Video works. You're probably wondering what's video works. Well, 1978 in Texas, the creator Blockbuster told the person, hey, can I cut the colors to make it unique? And they said no. So they made a rival business and that's how Blockbuster was a thing. So video works was a place where they worked in video works. And all of that happened ever since. So if it wasn't for video works, Blockbuster would have never been there. Thank you. Blockbuster video game champion. 1993 Blockbuster had their video game tournament. And that video game tournament uh, had a ton of stuff. And also, by the way, 
Donkey Kong had the tournament thingy also, and Donkey Kong Country tournament thingy is really rare and expensive. Bam! I just speed run this blockbuster training video. Blockbuster training videos. How I think of them? They are funny. Some of them are funny, and some of them are not. You can watch them in YouTube. What are they for? Well, what do you think, dummy? Therefore, well, what do you expect? Need you to train to be a Blockbuster employee. There. Now you get it now. Blockbuster mail. Blockbuster mail. It basically, if you want to watch a movie... So just go to the website and bam, you get the movie delivered to you. Yeah. And if you want to exchange the movie, you could go to the stores. It's a really neat idea. And they only did that because Netflix was doing it back then before the streaming service. And you know that Netflix still do that? Dang, that is shocking. Blockbuster robbery. So basically there were... A robbery and blockbuster, but not with guns or whatever. Just these people stealing DVDs. Yeah, and for some reason, it was in TV. I don't know which channel was it. I think it was Comps. But yeah, it was like a robber and all that. Surprising that they actually filmed this. Uh, it is probably Comps. Who knows? But yeah, I just want to include this because, well, why not? Nintendo versus Blockbuster. Wait, what do you mean Nintendo versus Blockbuster? Well, Nintendo, some of the games uh, that Blockbuster have with Nintendo got no manual. So, Blockbuster thought, huh, I should print the manual. So, they print the manual, but the Nintendo doesn't like it. So, they sue that, but thank God the Blockbuster won. But not the actual war where they stay alive. Other movies before they go to stores other video rental store have them first well you're probably confused right now right but uh, now you see uh, that uh, before the movie you like uh, come to well stores uh, they gotta go to the video rental stores uh, first because the movie owners give it to the video rental store and then you could watch in your store yeah, and now you could just stream it. That's it. But yeah, that's how it works. Supposed to be Blockbuster was too slow for DVDs and hesitating it. But, well, I spelled it wrong. So yeah, it's supposed to be Blockbuster was too slow for DVD when it get popular. Well, you see, the popularity of DVDs didn't happen yet but in 1990 blockbuster had the chance to get dvds before other people and it could have been a lot more sales that the other reason why they're failing but nah they were hesitant they still think that vhs would go and work but one thing vhs did not work out that much in 1990 bam they missed out the chance of getting dvds that's right and that's all the reason why Blockbuster is failed. I mean, that's all the reason why Blockbuster failed. Blockbuster Online. We're not just doing online movie rental. We're doing it better. With unlimited movie rentals to your door in about a day or two. Over 50,000 titles. And with Blockbuster Online, you get something no one else can give you. A free in-store rental every week, whenever you want. That's 52 free movies a year. You'd better get watching. Plan start. I got nothing said. He said it for me. Blockbuster marketing. I'm just going to say now. Blockbuster got good marketing. Like where all the commercials give me this feeling. I don't know how to describe this thing. But it give me a really good feeling. It give me like a nostalgia that I never have. It gave me one of those if I sort of do have nostalgia with Blockbuster. But yeah. Blockbuster is really good at their marketing. A for effort. The final one, Blockbuster. Let me be for real with this. Blockbuster is in the bottom list. 
Why remember that Chuck E. Cheese iceberg video I did? Kids. Well, this is Blockbuster. Because the one thing few people know is Blockbuster, the reason why they shut down. Blockbuster did a ton of dumb mistakes. I pointed out in the video. Blockbuster made a ton of mistakes that could have saved them, but they just didn't do that. Like, really, Blockbuster, if they could have got the DVD thingy first, that could have at least made them a little bit more money. If they accepted the deal with Netflix, could have made them a ton of money. If they didn't remove no more late fees, that could have saved them a lot more money. But uh, they did all that. Because Blockbuster itself is a good place. It just it just won't last that much if they just keep uh, denying stuff. Their old tactic won't work. There's only one left. And it's because of Blockbuster. That one's still going good. I'm proud of it. I'm just saying. If Blockbuster never did none of that, we would have still had Blockbuster. But yeah, that's my list. Well, nice having you, and thank you for watching this Blockbuster Iceberg video, and I gotta do other stuff.